right, so ladies and gentlemen, if you remember a couple steps that we talked about in this class, when we are going through and finding the zeros of a quadratic, well, now we're talking about zeros of quadratic polynomials. But guess what? Guess what? The process is going to be exactly the same. First thing we want to do is set your equation equal to 0. So since I have a function here, I'm going to replace my function f of x with a 0. So therefore, I have x squared minus 7x minus 18. If you guys remember on that online test that we didn't go over yet, um, a lot of the problems they asked you to solve, and you had numbers on both sides, and they weren't set equal to 0, excuse me, that was your um, job to first set it equal to 0 before you could solve. Then the next thing that we want to do is now factor. We're trying to identify what two numbers multiply to give me negative 18, but then add to give me negative 7. So you can just list, if you guys remember, I told you to use this kind of diamond method. What two numbers multiply to give you negative 18, and then add to give you negative 7? Yes, Joshua. Uh, uh, negative 9 and positive 2. Negative 9 and positive 2. OK. So now that we know what the uh, solutions are, we simply can write this in factored form as x minus 9 times x plus 2. Does everybody follow me? Yes? No? OK. Now, since we have the product of two factors equal to 0, if you guys also remember in your um, test, this would remember we talked about like factorization? This would be the factorized form. Because now we've taken the polynomial and written it as a product of its factors. So this would be your factorization right here. Okay? Remember, I think they, there was a problem where they said when a polynomial is or a quadratic is written in factorization? Here is your factorization form. Then I can now apply the zero product property, where the zero product property, if these two multiply to give you 0, then one of them has to equal 0, or both. So therefore, I add 9, add 9. So x equals 9, subtract 2, subtract 2, x equals negative 2. So my solution set is negative 2 comma 9. Everybody follow me with this. Hopefully, we went just down memory lane, because we did spend a 